how to save tweets. You're a brand manager, opposition researcher. You want to track people on Twitter so that you can quickly index and remember what has been said. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save, comment, tag, organize, and publish tweets into a content library. Let's take a look and see how it works. To get started, we first need to install Curator. To get Curator, go to your Chrome browser, open up a new tab, go over to Apps, and from this window, click on Web Store. And when you're inside a web store, type in Curator in your search. And we are here at the first entry. Click on that and then simply add that to your Chrome. You're going to have to then sign in with your Gmail account. A curator extends your bookmark manager, which means that everything that you store in Curator will also sync across your devices and you can access it from anywhere. So let's do that and then we will continue. Next, let's take a look and see how we can save individual tweets. Each tweet in its headline has a date or an hour of when the tweet was published next to it. When we click on that, it's basically going to create a unique URL for that specific tweet that we can save. To save it with our curator, we come over to the menu bar and activate the dialog box, which will scrape information off of the page, put the content of the tweet in the description, but also in the headline, it's going to allow us to choose where, which folder we want to save this in. And uh, I recommend that we change the headline. And basically here it says that what Cohen did is not a crime. Because Obama did this too. Right? And notice that uh, the program is also scraping the publisher, the author, and the Twitter handle. And it also recognizes that this is a tweet. We can have different types of information scraped, and uh, it records it as the type. Next, we want to add some tags in here. So I already have a bunch of articles and a list. So let's see, Michael Cohen is one that I want to add. The other one is Obama I want to add. And then there's a, I want to add deflection, which I don't have in my list, and uh, save it. To access this now, uh, we can go to our bookmark manager. And you notice here in the uh, Trump tweets, which is part of our bookmark manager under curation folders, the tweet is saved. To access it, I can just simply double click on it and it's going to open it up in a window with that tweet and notice that the curator icon is now changed, which tells us that this is already a saved tweet. So one of the things that I like to do, because later we're gonna show you how we share this information, is to add an image URL. And uh, Twitter doesn't make it easy to grab images, but to do so, um, for example, we can come into the comments or anywhere there are images, right click on an image that we wanna pick, I say open image in a new tab, and then simply go back here, grab that link, come back and put it in my image URL. So now I have saved the tweet with all of the information. Next, uh, we're gonna take a look and see um, how we can share this information. Next, we wanna take a look and see how we can publish our tweets and our research into a content library like the one you see here, where each one of these posts is an individual tweet with a description and the images. Now you know why we wanted to save those images, so if you plan to publish them, it's a good idea to um, save images. So let's uh, take a look as two steps. One is we have to first create an account on our kbucket.com site. So kbucket is a free site where you can simply come in and create a new account or simply sign in, and I'm gonna sign in here with my Twitter account. 
and then I'm going to go over to the page that is uh, called My K Buckets, and here you see I have a number of research files, and one of them is called uh, Trump Tweets, the one that we just looked at, and uh, I'm going to show you now how we can create and upload them. So basically, every time I add new links, I, I'm going to come here and update uh, the file that I have uh, in storage. So to create a file, we go back to our curator inside of our bookmark manager, and we have a tree called the curation tree in here. And underneath the curation tree, you can create curation files. Each one of them is a curation file. You right click and you create a file. When you create a file underneath it, we require that we first create a group. You can have multiple groups. And underneath the group, we associate uh, folders with this file. So here we have curator and uh, I want to choose uh, the Trump tweets, which I have, and you see here Trump tweets is associated with this file. So to export it, I simply go in here, I say export curation file, and let me modify the name over here and put it in my curation files, save it, replace the old file. Now I'm going to come over here and I go to my Trump tweets, I say update, I will simply select this file, open it, update it. The file will be updated and the new links will be added to it. And then we are going to simply click on it and view it. Here we go. Here are the new tweets that we added. So now each one of these posts can be shared individually on your social media channels, as you can see over here. And when we share them, I can also manually get the URL, go to a new tab and copy it. So to show you how it works, you can see that when you share that tweet, uh, it's going to drive people back to your content library. And then when people from here, they can click on it and go to that tweet. When you're inside of the library, all the content tags that we provided, you can now very quickly um, filter stuff. So if I wanted to see tweets on pollution, I can uh, select that tab. And then there are related tags, so pollution and maybe Robert Mueller, who is used as reference in here. And that's how quickly I can navigate my content library. If I'm inside of my folder over here, I can use uh, each column to basically select tweets that I want to highlight, and this is going to filter it, uh, publisher, author, and so on. So a very useful tool for saving your tweets, for sharing it, whether you're doing it for your own personal benefit or you're doing it as part of an organization and you want to share your research with everybody else, use Curator and KBucket to do that. So to to try it, simply go down and click on our landing page and you'll be led to uh, information on how to get Curator and a link to sign up with KBucket. Thank you for your attention. Hope you enjoy Curator and KBucket.